Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. Let's get to today's update from right here at the First National Bank TV Sports Desk. The state swimming and diving championships are underway today in Lincoln for the Scotts Bluff Gearing Seacat squad. Today, diving only though and no Seacats involved. Tomorrow, plenty of action in the pool for the ladies swimmers, the only qualifiers this year. Some relay work and some individual races, prelims tomorrow, and then the championship races will be held on Saturday morning. That's in Lincoln at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. Plenty of basketball on tap for the next three days. Boys Sub-District final games are tonight around the area. That real tasty matchup, Mitchell taking on Ogallala plus Bridgeport looking to stay sharp ahead of a district final as well early next week. Now those district finals for the Class C and Class D teams are expected to be played on Monday, possibly on Tuesday. Well, tomorrow night we'll take the TV crew plus radio on the road for the C26 Girls District Final between Bridgeport and Grand Island Central Catholic. The Bulldogs are looking to get to the state tournament for the first time since 2010. First year head coach Dave Kulin, though no stranger to these big games, he led Juanita Palisade, the boys team there, to state eight times in 21 years. I feel comfortable going into this matchup, but that, you know, it doesn't always translate to, you know, the kids. I, you just, you know, I've, I've lost some games in the past where people have come up to me and said, well, what happened there? And I was like, well, if you jump into the mind of a teenage kid, you just might be pretty scared by what you see. But, you know, I, I think uh, just the preparation and the buildup, I, I like, you know, with, with the girls, the, the nice long turnaround from sub-districts to districts, it's so much better for girls than it is for boys. And so uh, this week has been awesome, you know, just trying to uh, build up confidence throughout the week and, and really get these girls believing that uh, they can get the job done. Cool in his one state title under his belt, and Bridgeport will be prepared for this game tomorrow night. KNEB.TV plus radio coverage will get started at 545 Mountain Time. And then on Saturday, it's going to be a doubleheader of sorts, I guess, with big games right here in Scotts Bluff. At noon, Cougar Palace, the spot. WNCC's men's team hosting Trinidad State. That'll be a first-round game for the Region 9 tournament. Noon start time up at the Palace. And then at 2 o'clock at Scotts Bluff High School, the Bearcat boys take on Waverly in the B3 district final. A spot in the Class B state tournament on the line. Alliance coming off the loss to Scotts Bluff earlier this week. Also at home for a district final game on Saturday afternoon against Lexington.